Hello everybody, I'm Cobblestone20 and today I have something pretty cool to show you. So, um, you can see a little command block contraption up there. What that actually does is it creates sort of like laser drill style things in Minecraft. So, I'm just going to place this down. This is a spawn silverfish egg called Drill Base. And um, I'm just going to place this down. And as you can see, if we stand right up close to the drill mechanism thing, we're getting all the items. And, uh, yeah, it's actually drilling a hole right down past bedrock. And then the silverfish died there. But um, So this is everything it got. And it's made a one-by-one one pillar right to bedrock. And, um, and I'm just going to... I'm just going to get back up quickly. So it actually sort of makes a little laser effect. So if we set the block here to stone, whoops, I forgot the relative coordinates. If we set this block to stone, now we set up a drill here. You'll see a charged creeper is coming down. That still looks like a laser and it slowly comes down and then it drills through the earth. And then comes all the way down and um, gets through bedrock and then just falls into the eternal void of death and sadness. So if I just come back up here, I'm going to show you the commands now. But um, yeah, that's, that's my little laser drill mechanism. It's not perfect, but it's pretty good for just a few command blocks. So um, this bottom one here sets the block ab above it to air. And this one up here sets the block below it to a redstone block. And um, so do these. So basically that's just a really fast clock running on each of these. So that these four command blocks and then these four command blocks are all going to be very, very, very repeatedly powered. So uh, I'll just clear out my inventory. So, okay, we have got one scoreboard objective. So... Scoreboard, objectives, list. We have one that's called drill age. That, that second bit, age of drills, doesn't really matter. And it's the type dummy, right? Uh, that just means it stores a variable not based on anything in the game, but something that only commands can change. Okay, so I'll start with the uh, actual drill, which is the creeper. So... We have, um, obviously our silverfish is called drill base, and every drill base whose score of drill age is 1 is summoning a creeper at its relative coordinates called drill. That is all. Nothing about the creeper being supercharged, nothing about the creeper sort of moving down slowly, nothing about the creeper not exploding, uh, nothing about that. That's, that's where this command block comes in. So this says... This is an entity data command, which says, let everything that is a creeper, whose name is Drill, be never ignited, and um, a fuse of 100, just in case. Uh, make it powered, which is which is which which just means, you know, lightning creeper, basically. And let its effects be ID of the ID 14, um, level 10. 14 means invisibility. Of the level 10, duration 10. Um, ambient one. Now duration doesn't really matter here because obviously we're doing it repeatedly but still. Ambient one, that means there are no particles to it because uh, supposing I drank myself a little potion of invis I'm not totally invisible because I've got little sort of particles showing up, these little bubbles and um and that is just what this fixes, this ambient thing. And the motion of the creeper is um, going to be negative 0 0.3 and the rest are 0, 0.0. And, um, yeah, that's the command that makes the creeper all super special and magical. Then we've got this command, which says, okay, this is repeatedly giving every everything called drill base, so basically the silverfish that I spawn in, one score of drill age, so like it it goes up repeatedly, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, really, really fast, really, really stupidly fast. Then we have here, and every uh, this is executing, and all the creepers who are called drill 
we are set block in uh, the block below it to air. That's just the damage value. And then destroying the block, so actually dropping the item. These clocks are, re are automatically replacing. They're using the same command, but if I just take this command block, uh, it's actually it's not making any particles and it's not dropping the item. Whereas with the with the laser drill, it actually does drop the item. Um, but yeah, no, that's because this is automatically replace mode. Whereas that we've actually told it to destroy the block, as though a player had mined it. Basically, uh, so th these are more about dr the actual drill base. So this is saying repeatedly teleport all items to everything called drill base. C equals minus one. That just means the youngest one, the like the the most recent one created. This is what makes it so when we spawn in our silverfish, we get this little we get this cool little player head, and then we can collect all the items from there. The reason we're collecting the items from there is because of that command I just said about the teleporting all the items to the drill base, but um, yeah, no, the player head is caused by this one, so that's executing at all silverfish called drill base with a score of drill age of 1. Basically, that's a minimum of 1. Um, it's repeatedly setting the block, uh, one above it, to a Minecraft skull. It's replacing the block. It's extra type, which is like the player name basically, is Clorsh. That's just the guy who has a skull that looks like um, that looks like a little robot head or whatever. That's Clorsh is just a guy whose skin looks like that robot. Skull type three. Well, skull type one is a skeleton head. Skull type two is like I don't know a zombie head. Skull type three is a player head, and then four and five are the other kinds of mobs. Rot, rot four. That means rotation four, I believe. Uh, so yeah, that's that's setting the block to the head. Then this. Uh, so this is similar to the creeper one over here. This is the one about the creeper. But then this one, we're actually doing it to the silverfish called drill base. Uh, oops, I forgot to delete the fuse one powered one bit. That doesn't do anything. Basically, the active effects are. Again, invisibility, the same kind of statistics or whatever you'd call them. But this time the motion is just zero, zero, zero in all three, in the X, the Y, and the Z. Basically that means it can't be knocked back, it can't be moved, it doesn't react to gravity, and it is just totally, permanently still, completely, 100%. In vulnerable one, you can probably guess what that means. That just means that the silverfish cannot be harmed. But the reason the silverfish does die in the end is because of this one, which is killing everything which has a drill age score of a minimum of 200. So, basically, with these drill bases, um, they their score is repeatedly getting updated over and over and over again. And then when their score hits 200, then they will die like that, just there. So, uh, that's basically all for now. You can use this in your adventure maps, all that. Um, but yeah, that's all for now, guys. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Like, comment, favorite, subscribe, all that stuff. Uh, and um, see you guys later. Bye.